Hey amazing educators, my name is Brent Coley. I am a former fourth and fifth grade teacher, former elementary school principal, and current coordinator of elementary education. And thank you so much for tuning in. In this four part video series, four short videos, I want to share with you something I call StudyCast, which is podcasting for student learning. I want to show you how I used to use it when I was a classroom teacher and how I think you can use it to leverage the technology that our students have and increase their learning outside of the classroom. So this is part one, as I said, four short videos. In this part one, I just want to talk first about what is a study cast. So what is a study cast? So do me a favor, I want you to imagine this. You're a parent, or if you're not a parent, picture a parent at home and their son or their daughter gets home from school, comes in the front door, tosses the backpack on the couch, runs upstairs, and a couple minutes later, comes back downstairs with his or her headphones on like you see in the picture there, and plops down on the couch. And the parent says, whoa, whoa, whoa hold on, hold on a sec. Remember, remember our rule, you need to go ahead and you need to do your homework first before you listen to your music. And the son or the daughter, the boy or the girl, looks up at mom or dad and says, I'm doing my homework. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a study cast. Study casts are podcast episodes, audio or video. We're going to talk about audio in this video series. Study casts are podcast episodes recorded to help students review for upcoming tests. So basically, you see, I got a little logo here. Basically, putting your content, whatever it is that you teach, taking that and putting it into a phone or a computer. I mean, I think you'll agree with me on this. Students are seemingly always on their phones. So why not turn those phones into study tools? Kind of like, if you can't beat them, join them. Let's take the content that we want to deliver to our students and put it in a format that they love, that it almost has the cool factor. That is a study cast. A little background, back in the day, back in, you know, I'm recording this in 2024, 14 years ago, I was teaching fifth grade and I used study casts to teach social studies and science, to help my students review in social studies and science. Here's a picture from way back then. You can tell how long, because look, you've got a, a white Mac. Number one, there's a less, lot less gray in my beard. But that was me sitting in front of my computer recording. And you can see right here, I, I had my social studies. This is a social studies uh, broadcast that I was recording. I had my notes right here. I had my social studies textbook and I basically just recorded talking myself talking about the notes. Very simple, hit record, put my little headset mic on and started talking about what we saw, uh, excuse me, what we talked about in class, what the students had in their notes. Now, what did my students think of StudyCast? So I asked my students back there, hey boys and girls, what do you think of students what do you think of the study cast? And I just want to share what one of my students said. She said, Mr. Coley, I listened to the Puritan study cast. We were studying Puritans back when uh, American history. I listened to the Puritan study cast five times and I got a good grade on the test. Now, if you're watching this right now, I'd like you to key in on two specific words. Are there two words that jump out at you there? Like that, those two words right there five times. This student told me, I listened to the Puritan study cast five times and I got a good grade on the test. So I would ask this follow-up question, how often will our students study their traditional notes five times? But because we put the content for that social studies test into her, <laughs> you look at the picture, her iPod at the time, or her burnt, uh, her burned CD, she listened to it five times. So it worked with our students. So that's the end of part one. In the next video in part two, 
you might be thinking, well, what exactly does it sound like? In the next video, part two, I'm going to share with you some examples so you'll get an idea of what could a study guest sound like. Thanks for watching. See you in part two.